January disturbance in the Atlantic. That's right, the National Hurricane Center is tracking a system that's off the coast of the Northeast. Eastern Atlantic. In fact, uh, there we have a brat tropical storm that is impacting with the Lesser Antilles right now. We'll get to Cindy, newly formed as of the 11 p.m. advisory. Hurricane Dawn still considered a fish storm and it does look like over the next day or so Dawn will continue to weaken. Yeah, that's right, Leslie. We are watching several different named storms in the tropics right now. We have a tropical storm Idalia, which you were just talking about, as well as Hurricane Franklin. Now, tropical storm Idalia, the most recent data that we have seen, it's showing us that it has winds of about 70 miles an hour. So what does that mean? It means it's just four miles under where it needs to be for a category one storm. So for a category one hurricane, we need winds of 74 miles an hour. So it's just barely below that. It is going to move into the Gulf of Mexico. Mexico over the next couple of days and potentially impact that uh, Gulf Coast of Florida as we move towards the middle part of the week. As far as Tropical Storm Franklin goes, right now it is expected to stay as a strong major Category 4 storm, but it's mostly going to stay in the Atlantic. Bermuda will see a few impacts and we'll also get a few impacts here on the East Coast as far as um, a little bit more of a significant surf as well as an increased risk for riptides. <laughs> Welcome to the news hour. Hurricane Idalia has weakened to a tropical storm tonight, hours after it blasted North Florida with winds near 125 miles an hour and a wall of water that caused heavy flooding. Officials reported two rain-related traffic deaths. Thousands of people chose to get out of harm's way while others hunkered down for the first major storm to hit the state this year. After a night of raging wind and rain, Hurricane Idalia landed early today on Florida's Gulf Coast. Those who sheltered in place woke up to find flooded streets. The flooding is unbelievable. I'm not going to be able to go to work, I don't think, for a couple days. And uh, this is going to be devastating, I think, for at least a couple days. <laughs> on Hurricane Lee.
as they should be because this one is a powerhouse of a hurricane going from a tropical storm to now a category four storm in a very short amount of time. This well advertised and forecast rapid intensification has certainly happened. You can clearly see how well formed the center of this storm is with winds now at 130 miles per hour. The best news about this is it's right now not anywhere near any land areas in the forecast track as this goes to category five within the next 12 to 24 hours keeps it away from the northern lesser Antilles. That also includes our friends here in Puerto Rico and Vieques and also the northern Virgin Islands. And then in any of the islands here in the Caribbean, the lesser Antilles look to be spared from this powerhouse of a storm. <laughs> Weather ripping up the East Coast right now. Tropical storm Ophelia is bringing heavy rainfall and powerful winds to the mid-Atlantic region. This is what it looked like after making landfall in North Carolina. More than 50,000 homes in North Carolina and Virginia are without power. A storm surge uh, warning is in effect for southeastern Virginia right now, as well as a travel advisory for New York City. Joining us now with more, NBC News meteorologist Michelle Grossman. Seems like you cannot get a weekend off, Michelle. What about this one? What should people know about this storm? I know there. Hi there, Alex. I know we're looking at Ophelia. It made landfall this morning around 615 on the North Carolina coast, right near Emerald Island with 70 mile per hour winds. That's a strong tropical storm, nearly a category one storm, and it's holding its strength. We're looking at winds at uh, 50 miles per hour. So we're going to be talking about this all weekend long because it's a relatively slow moving storm. It's going to keep its strength during the day and it's going to bring a whole lot of rain and wind in lots of spots. <laughs> Hurricane Tammy, as of the 5 o'clock advisory, 85 miles per hour, and this system likely to strengthen to Category 2 strength by early in the week, also tracking another area of potential development. tropical cyclone number 22 very broad circulation it really just hasn't gotten its act together and the chances of this actually becoming a tropical entity are getting smaller and smaller